Hi, I'm Ann Pinto McCarney. I am from Westchester, Pennsylvania, and I am 46 years old. Yes, I know, I don't look a day over 46. Thank you. I have four kids too many. 20, 18, 16, and 14. Yes, about a month ago, we had four teenagers in the house at the same time. Yay, Xanax! I am married 23 years as well. Um, my husband has a halo. All right, so I'm going to get right to it. Parenting styles. Um, one little pet peeve I have that is not necessarily a parenting style. It's something that parents do these days. Um, drives me a little bit crazy because I think it's just, you know, unnecessary. Is they, they name their children very strange names. And I don't think they do it... Um, because they like the names. I really think they do it because they're trying so hard to out name their children's parents, friends, or whatever, you know. They're just like, I just went to this island, and I'm gonna name my kid after that island. And really, it's, you know, kids are, Kids are supposed to be cute. Give them a cute little name, you know? If if your child's name has more syllables in it than they've had years on this earth, then you've you've overnamed your child. And and to be honest, you know, we're all born, little FYI, we're all born with our own little unique fingerprints, we're told, so we're unique to begin with. So just, you know, don't don't overdo it. You know, because all of a sudden a really cute three-year-old isn't so cute when I hear, hey, eat your gluten-free carrot, Tasmania. So that's just a pet peeve of mine. It's not necessarily a parenting style. As far as parenting styles go, there are several um, that I find uh, a little silly. The first is the helicopter parents. You are not doing your kids any favor by solving all their problems for them. I'm telling you, are you gonna be 25 years asking the boss for a raise for your kid? You know, you just, you're not gonna be able to do it. You're not doing your child a service. And if I am the only person in this interview that finds helicopter parents a problem, then I really worry about the future of our country because it's gonna go down like the Titanic. Too soon? Okay, so uh, another parenting style is extreme parenting, parents who, um, you know, like I, I'm all about giving your children ideals and giving them a basis to start with. You should, you know, they need to start somewhere. But, you know, when you're having 20 some kids and, and they're all being told, you know, do this or you're gonna go to hell, I think that's extreme, you know? And the, the, then there's the, the parents, God love them, that overthink everything. Just stop. Relax, back it up, back it up. First of all, say no to your children. A little, I just, I just want to let you know. I'm gonna let you in on something. I've been doing this for 20 years. Really cool thing. When you say no to your children, they don't break. They don't. Like they'll cry, and it'll bother you. Sometimes it hurts you more than it hurts them, but. Kids don't break when you say no to them. They don't. They're, they're kind of, it's kind of good for them to say no because when they get into the real world and other people start saying no to them, they're not going to do, they're not going to know what to do with themselves. They're all going to be like, what? She just said no to me. Like, I never get said no to. So say no to your kids, all right? Don't overthink everything. They don't need to go to a therapist because you didn't give them a cookie right before bed. Okay, um, so so helicopter parents, parents who overthink everything, um, saying no to your kids, it's, you know, just, and there's a lot of others, parents that, that treat their kids like adults, and I, I honestly, I could go on and on, so you just let me know how much time I have. I'm going to move on to the next question. What is my parenting style? So um, I asked my older two that question. I texted them, and I said to my oldest daughter, I said, what do you think my parenting style has been? I didn't say anything else other than what are my parenting styles, and she said to me, um, she says, well, you're a no BS mama, she said, and I kind of like that. Um, she said, but of course, very loving and gentle, um, told me the truth, always honest with me, um, not too strict, but not like too laid back either. So I think I got good marks from my oldest daughter. So then I asked my uh, second oldest child, my only boy, um, what my parenting style was. And he said, um, I don't know. 
This is a boy that took three languages in high school, okay? So uh, I, will, um, I will say that I am in agreement with my daughter. Um, my parenting style is no BS. I call a spade a spade. My children, I do not wear rose-colored glasses where my children are concerned. But by the same token, if they've earned a compliment, they will get their compliment. I'm pretty generous with the compliments, so that's my parenting style. Um, I guess this whole strict thing also goes under a parent pet peeve is parents that are way too strict for their kids. It's just, again, recipe for disaster. FYI. All right, next question. What are my thoughts on disciplining? Discipline has to happen. We all, even as adults, we have to have consequences for our behavior. Do I believe in hitting kids? Absolutely not. That's 20, 30 years ago. It's uh, not necessary. Um, but uh, the, my, if I were to give anybody a piece of advice is follow through with your threats. If you say to your child, I'm going to put you in time out for two minutes, if you do that again, you put your child in time out. Again, this is going back to the whole saying no thing. They will not break. Promise you. They will not break. Trust me. I put my kids in time out. I've taken things away from them. I've said no to them a gazillion times. And I, I think they're doing okay. I don't know. Jory's still out on the 14-year-old. And my parents said no to me, certainly enough. And I had my share of punishments. And I think I took, well, maybe I'm not the best example, but, you know, most of our parents have said no to us and discipline and we all for the most part have turned out okay so uh yes discipline should take place um be consistent with it follow up you know if you tell your kids two minutes in time out make sure they stay in there for two minutes i, I you know what i would love it if someone gave me a time out and i'd get 46 minutes up in my bedroom i'm on it get sign me up i would love that all right, final question. Uh, uh, how do I handle a disrespectful teenager? <laughs> well, like I said, I've had four teenagers at, uh, for several years, um, uh, so, so I've had a lot of experience with that. My youngest is 14, so I've got six more years till I'm paroled from the teenage years. Um, uh, how do I handle a teenager, a disrespectful teenager? Well, obviously, the first right off the bat, I give them the look, the mom look that only a mom can give. And um, my kids tell me to this day that they're a little afraid of that look. And I would give you that look, but I'm a little afraid I might scare you too. Just kidding. Um, so uh, obviously, they, I, they know from early on, like I said, I'm a no BS mom. So uh, when they are disrespectful and I give them that look, when they keep pushing, okay, that's when I start talking their language and I'm like, get a little sarcastic right back with them. And I'm like, oh, I get it, I get it. You want me to take your phone away. That's why you're rolling your eyes at me and talking back. Oh, silly me. I did. You should have just come right out and said, mom, take my phone away instead of being disrespectful to me because you're gonna regret it one day when I'm long gone. So a little bit of sarcasm, a little bit of mom guilt, you know, I do all that stuff. So that's it. I uh, hope this answers all of your questions. And um, that's it. And like I said, I could send you a whole other video on other parenting styles if you need me to, because I got a lot of opinions on that. And that's it. Thank you. Bye.